Good afternoon to everybody. My presentation will try to give some hints and reflection on the need to redefine the human being Earth system nexus in order to contribute to that human change necessary to address global problems. I want to start from this question, which is the, which is the state of the planet? The state of the planet is at a critical stage. Wars, including the possible use of, of nuclear weapons, pandemics, ecological crises, are reducing the humanity's hope for a better future. Pandemics and wars are embedded in our present time, as well as global warming and related effects, the destruction of ecosystems, the reduction of biodiversity, soil impoverishment, freshwater depletion, are already become the perspective of our near future. Humans are the cause of the current state of the planet. That is critical because the state of humanity is at a dangerous stage. Ecological crisis can be considered the effect of the crisis of the human being. The old logics that govern the world are bringing humanity close to a tipping point. This is what science tell us through its periodic and detailed reports of the IPCC, for example. These, those logics rooted on power and domination have shaped the relationships among human beings and between them and nature, and have been sustained by the ideas that the natural resources of the planet were infinitive. In this framework, humans have taught to fight and win through science and technology a war against a nature considered dangerous. Science and technology have been used as tools to escape from problems by creating a digital world in which humans were able to defeat that illness, fear, frustration by making possible what would be impossible in real life. The ecological crisis is a planetary crisis, regardless of the causes of and who produced them, the consequence of a way of life that is practiced in one part of the planet and is at the most coveted in the rest. Human development has created well-being in a large part of the world, but in the remaining part, even greater, inequalities have increased, the environment has suffered unsustainable human pressure. It is time that humans radically change the logic with which they manage their vital niche, known less the paradigm shift necessary to address the complexity of the global challenges at stake we left to affect all peoples of the earth. It is necessary and urgent to rethink human relationships and build a new vision of the human earth system nexus. This will imply to reconsider our societies, their joints, their productive, legislative and political structures, the educational programs, our lifestyles, also in the light of the great contribution that geosciences give to human culture and knowledge. Environmental problems and the ways in which humanity must ensure its well-being on the planet Earth are fundamental issues for today's ethics. Ethics must be rethought in the light of the modern ecological crisis and give answers that all together environmental, economic and social issues. An ecological crisis at a planetary level needs an ethical framework reference to guide human choices at a global level. This means that we need a global ethics on which to shape an ethical regeneration of humans capable to set up and qualify decisions and actions of new criteria and perspectives. We need new interpretative categories of reality and a systemic view of the planet. We think that the ethical framework provided with geoethics can sustain this vision. Geoethics can be a global ethics for a globalized world that has to face planetary anthropogenic changes. Geoethics has been defined as the research and reflection on the values that underpin appropriate behaviors and practices wherever human activities interact with the Earth system and can implement an ecological humanism, integrating some principles of human ethics, dignity, freedom, and responsibility with the necessary duties that each human being must have towards the Earth system. In the vision of geoethics, the human being has to become aware of its action as an environmental modifying agent, but also of its decentralized position within the natural ecosystem. Humans shape their vital niche, and this is a natural process that must be carefully driven without compromising 
life on earth. The human being living in the Anthropocene have to become a moral subject capable to synthesize a plurality of visions and sensibilities of its being and relationships. What does it mean? Anthropocentrism was considered the main cause of the current ecological crisis, and it has been connoted by a strong, strongly negative selfish meaning. In this perspective, nature has assumed an instrumental role at the service of the human being. To overcome this ecological anthropocentric vision, alternative visions have been proposed, defined as biocentrism, ecocentrism, and geocentrism. Without going into details, I limit myself to saying that these visions have always been considered alternatives to each other. In our opinion, each of them has important elements that should be considered and which, as products of the complexity of human mind and sensibility, can find a synthesis in the vision of geoetics. In this perspective, the human being is intrinsically and perceptively anthropocentric, as it cannot escape its specific nature, the forms of its way of thinking, the biological, emotional, spiritual, and rational complexity through which it constructs its vision of the world on the basis of its species peculiarities. Moreover, the human being is dynamically anthropogenic since it builds its ecological niche to create its own operational space, which it modifies, if necessary, to try to improve one's living conditions. Those modifications must consider the planetary boundaries and ecological tipping points. But the human being should become rash, relationally biocentric in the recognition of the value of life of any living being and ecocentric in the attitude of respect towards the Earth system in its entirety. Finally, the human being has to become geocentric in its identity by developing a sense of supranational belonging to a terrestrial citizenship and taking care of its dwelling place. Thank you for the attention.